the resources it's visible, but uh, usually uh, laymen, lay people do not understand the the facts that resource supply is limited. It's in, uh, it's finite, but actually uh, people do not understand that fact. So the the challenge is how to make this point understandable to lay person. Are real examples, real problems happening in this real world by disseminating such information uh, with resource panel could uh, contribute the understanding of the problems associated with the resource consumption. In Japan, uh, the government encouraged what we call 3R, reduce, reuse, recycle, and by showing the fact that uh, there is plenty of uh, uh, recycled resources above ground, like you know, used, in, uh, used mobile phones and so on, and this is still not you know, usefully collected and still it's an, uh, sleeping in the uh, drawers on the <laughs> shelves and so on. So uh, the direction uh, of uh, our future, that's uh, efficient, uh, very resource efficient society. That is the uh, main standpoint of the resource panel. But I think from the learning from our recent experience in Japan, uh, improvement of resource efficiency by technology, that's of course important, but not enough. Of course, the technology can solve the problem to a large extent. Also, the um, network of people, source of sustainable society, that is uh, what we experienced recently in a Japanese uh, tragedy.